Hi all, welcome back to this video series. Today's topic is custom notifications using process builders. Before we jump into understanding of what exactly is a custom notification, let's understand why we use the custom notification first. Let's say you wanted to alert a user on an important event that has occurred on the Salesforce. Give it a thought and put your answers in the comment section. If you are aware of the email alerts, you might have said, yeah, I'll go ahead and write an email alert to let the user know. Why exactly we are doing this one? Because we wanted the user attention on the event that has happened. So that way the user can act upon the event and take the event or a process forward. So this is very important for the business. Let's say if there is an important deal that has happened, if there is a case that has been created on an important account, these events should be notified for the user so that way they can act upon those events. If you have email alert configured, you have to leave the Salesforce to basically go ahead and check the notification on the mailbox. So if you are doing some important work in Salesforce, always this process might not be something feasible. What are the other options that we have? That is where we have the option called custom notification. What exactly this custom notification will do? You might have seen this notification bell symbol in the lightning experience. So instead of sending an email alert, what we can do is we can design a custom notification where the user can be notified on the alert without leaving the Salesforce. They can go through the alert or the important event that has happened in the Salesforce with the help of the custom notification. We can alert them using this custom notification. This is a simple example that I've taken a screenshot of and this is a notification one and this is something as a notification two. This is how it would look like. All right. So in this video, we'll see how to build this custom notification and we'll test it and how it exactly appears for the user. With that, let's get started. We have understood the need of the custom notification. We have understood what exactly is a custom notification here. Custom notification is basically alerting the user without leaving the sales force. Now, in order to do that setup, we are using the help of the process builder here. There are two steps that we need to follow in order to get started with this setup. One is creating a notification type. We'll see what exactly is this notification type is all about and what exactly it has to do with this setup. And two, is to send the custom notification from a process. Remember that we are dealing with a process builder here. We can also do this process of sending a custom notification from our Apex process builder, which we are seeing right now, and also from Flow. Stay tuned for more episodes for the Apex and the Flow. For time being, let's focus on the process builder. Two steps. Step one is to create the notification type. Step two is to send the custom notification based on the criteria that you want to notify the user. With that, time for demo. Now, as a part of this demo, what exactly we'll build is we will notify the case owner when a case of type electrical has been created. Case type, type is a field on case. When the value is set to electrical and a case has been created, we want to notify the case owner. A simple requirement, nothing fancy. We wanted to see how exactly the notifications work. We need to notify the case owner when the case type is electrical and which is a new case that has been created. I'm switching back to Salesforce. I'm just quickly opening a case to show you the fields just for the reference. So this is the type field that I was talking about. If the case type is electrical and if a new case has been created, we wanted to notify the case owner here, which is the SFTC admin here. Let's go ahead and build the custom notification. The first step in building the custom notification is to set up the custom notification type. So how exactly we can do that? Go to setup, click on, click on setup from the gear icon. In the quick find, search for notification. If you see here, under the notification builder, we have custom notifications. Click on this link. It would open up a page. So this is the area where we build our custom notifications type. So to build a custom notification from scratch, click on this new button. A pop-up would come up, which would ask for your custom notification name, API name, and the support channels. What exactly the support channels are? Where do you want to notify your users? Do you want to do it on the desktop and mobile as well? Keep these two checkboxes checked. So I wanted to notify my case owner. So I'll just name this uh, notification type as case type notification, just to differentiate the other notification that I have. Feel free to come up with any different name that you think is a meaningful name. And as soon as I do that, my API name would be all automatically populated. So I wanted this notification to be there on my mobile as well as the desktop. So I'll keep these two checkboxes checked. 
in case if you do not want the same feel free to configure it accord once done click on save so once you click on save you can see the notification that has been created so this is my notification that i've created and it is there for desktop and mobile as well so the first step is done now what exactly is the second step second step is to send the notification with the help of process builder in our exam we wanted to notify the owner as a user whenever a case has been created if the case type is electrical so let's go ahead and set up a process builder i think this should be a straightforward one in case if you need a separate video on what exactly is a process builder and how to do that feel free to drop a comment and we'll come up with a new video. so i'm simply searching for the process builder in the setup again so under the process automation i have process builder click on that link and in order to set up a new process builder i'm clicking on this new button so if you are starting a new if your org doesn't have any process builders this is how the screen looks like in case if you have already have the list of process builders would be showing up in the same i'll click on new here now Salesforce is asking me what would be my process builder name. I'll go ahead and write it as is notification. I'll make sure that I'm not deviating from the name that we have used on the custom notification just to make sure that we have something in common to look for. I'll just put PB, PB as in process builder. Description, feel free to add some meaningful description for time being. I'll just copy paste the name and the process starts when, when do I want my process builder to start? So this would be a record change. The reason being we are creating a record and that is where my process builder should actually work. So I'll select the record changes here. And once done, click on save. Now we have the process builder here. We are not going into the details of how exactly we need to configure this process builder. It is more kind of a custom notification that we are looking for. Like I've said, in case if you need more details, drop us a comment and we'll get back to you. I'll select the object as case here because our triggering point is on case so i'll go ahead and select the object as case and when should my process start my process should start when a record has been created i'll select this option and i'll click on save here so i've selected the object the next thing that i need to do is add a criteria what is my criteria here it should fire when the case type is electrical i'll go ahead and configure it as is case type electrical we need to alert the user by firing the custom mode so i've given a name here the criteria name i'll go ahead and configure the condition here so what would be my condition here case type i'll go ahead and quickly select the case type as electrical you can add a few more conditions based on your requirement for timing i mean keeping it very simple i'll click on save so my condition is also there now time for configuring how to fire our custom notification it is nothing different from what we do from the email alert in case if you already know how to do an email alert it is the same process under immediate actions i'm clicking on add an action once that sidebar comes up in the action type we usually select email alerts for email notifications this time select send custom notification send custom notification remember that we already have a custom notification type so that is something that we need to select here but first let's give it a meaningful name alert case owner on case type right so i've given a name here so the custom notification type if i click on this drop down i should be seeing the custom notification that i've created which is case type notification remember i have two custom notifications earlier both are showing up here so i wanted to select the second one here i'll go ahead and set it up in case if you have missed out creating that step you can always do it from here as well on this one it would take you to the same custom notification section so we have two custom notifications same thing has been showing in this drop down as well now now comes the part where in which we need to decide whom to be notified so far what we have done we have set up the notification type now we need to tell the system who should be notified here so in my context i need to notify the owner so you have an option to notify the user owner group queue go ahead and configure them according to your requirement since my configuration is more towards the owner i'll go ahead and select the owner here owner id choose so you're more kind of inclined towards letting the owner know here right now if you see here there is a notification title we have told the system who should be notified now what is the content that we wanted to deliver to them right so this notification title and body would help us do that notification title would be something that gives just of what exactly we wanted to convey and notification body is something that we can elaborate on what we wanted to notify right so how exactly it would look like this. So this would be your title the one that is in bold is your title and the content below that is your body so configure them accordingly so that way 
you can notify the important message in your title and elaborate the information in your body now if you see here there is a text area that is given to us where in which we can directly enter the content that we wanted to display can we use the merge fields can we use the information that is on the case yes you can definitely use them with the help of merge fields so what i would like to notify here is i'll go ahead and say a new case created with so just to make sure that we are using the merge fields i'll just say case a new case got created with case number i wanted to get the case number so that way the user would be knowing the case number as well so what i did here i simply clicked on merge fields a pop up comes up here search for case number this is the field that i wanted to use you can always use the other fields also for my requirement i'm just going with the case number once then click on choose the merge field would basically come up here so once we actually send the notification this value would be replaced with the case number here it is similar to what we do in our email templates same thing applies here as now what is the body i'll simply say hey hey trail laser i'll simply put in the subject so that way they would know what exactly this case is all about so again i'm using my merge fields here clicking on merge field under the case i wanted the subject here so subject is the field that basically describes what exactly the case is all about i just wanted to give a brief of what exactly the issue is from the notification itself so i'm selecting the subject as a field clicking on choose so this is my body once done click on save so my process is also ready now is the time to activate the process build i'll confirm this one so our process builder is active now time for testing so let's go ahead and uh, create a new case i'll create a new case the requirement is to basically fill out all the mandatory fields and keep the case type as electrical so i'll also fill in the subject just for testing purpose i'll say all right i have given some uh, subject here just for a testing purpose once done click on save so if everything goes fine this bell icon should have a notification with the title and the body that we have created so far so this case would be created and the process builder would basically look for this condition if that satisfies it would send a notification to the case owner since i am creating the case here it would be me who would be getting the notification click on save and as soon as the case has been created here the owner is the same user that i am using so i i'll be seeing a notification here so if it is configured for the other user the other user would get a notification like this like a notification just like how we get for our message or a whatsapp message indicating the number of unread notifications so let's click on this notification bell icon so if you see here the case number is 1028 1028 a case got created with case number is this one and hey trailblazer have a look at the new case the subject is electrical system is down need urgent assistance so if you see here that is the same subject with which we have created the case as well so it is picking up those values how did we do that with the help of merge fields so without leaving the salesforce now we can basically alert the user with the important events that are happening within salesforce so how cool is that let us know in the comment section for many more videos do like share and subscribe to sfpc quest and also let us know what would you like to hear from